are free from man-made rules and ideas. Colossians chapter 2 verses 18 to 23. Let no one cheat you of your reward, taking delight in false humility and worship of angels, intruding into things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding firm or fast to the head, that is Jesus, from whom all the body nourished and knit together by joints and ligaments grows with increase that is from God. Therefore, if you died with Christ from the basic principles of this world, why, as though living in the world, do you subject yourselves to regulations? Do not touch, do not taste, do not handle, which all concern things which perish with the using according to the commandments and doctrines of men. These things indeed have an appearance of wisdom in self-imposed religion, false humility and neglect of the body, but of no value against the indulgence of the flesh. So this is a lengthy passage, but the essence of this passage here is Paul is saying, don't let anybody cheat you and rob you of the good things that you have in Jesus Christ, your reward that you have, the good things you have in Christ. Don't let people by their own ideas impose a system of religion on you. Uh, don't let them get you into, you know, doing things like worshiping angels, uh, uh, doing things that are uh, an expression of false humility, uh, things that are self-imposed religion. He says, uh, you know, do this, don't do this, um, observe this, don't observe that. These are regulations that man makes. He calls them, they are the commandments and they are the doctrines of men. And he says, these things are of no value. They have no use. They only bring you in bondage. They only rob you of your reward of enjoying the good things that you have in Jesus Christ. So remember that in Christ, you are free from systems of religion, of man-made rules and regulations. Now, that doesn't mean we uh, go out there and be rebels against everything that people have made. There are certain things that are useful. For example, if you're part of a local church, your local church may have certain ways of doing things and so on. And, you know, uh, as far as they're not bringing you in bondage, it's not as far as they're not imposing it on you, but they're just putting their uh, certain things for the good of everybody, that's fine. But when man begins to impose things on you, that's when you've got to say you are free in Christ. And you don't want to bring yourself in subjection to the commandments of men and the teachings of men that impose regulations on you and essentially rob you of your own reward. And actually those, I reward, those regulations are of no value in helping you grow in God. So keep your freedom in Christ. Stay free from man-made rules, ideas, and regulations. They are of no value. Worship God in the spirit. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the liberty that we have in Jesus, that we worship you in the spirit. We worship you through your son, Jesus Christ. And God, we pray you'll give us wisdom to live free from bondages that man may try to put upon us through regulations, false religion, uh, dicta dictates of rules and ideas that put us in bondage. Help us to live free in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.